Well, good morning and welcome to BBRC Britain and English. Well, today we're going to have a look at the English newspaper. Well, the English newspaper, probably well known throughout the world for all sorts of stories, uh, and certainly perhaps stories which English people would not like to go around the world about expenses, about things which perhaps other people in politics across the world uh, expect to uh, to have without any form of reproach or any form of reporting or publishing. But in this country, we've got a very intrusive media. So I'll tell you a little bit about newspapers and the British newspaper. And then um, I will endeavour to show you some photographs and perhaps talk about a few news stories. Well, talking about newspapers, and they are possibly on the way out because of uh, online journalism now and uh, certainly the papers going online and uh, subscriptions being relatively cheap compared to buying the daily newspaper uh, which now at times costs anything between sort of 50p 40 50p uh, and uh, a pound over a pound uh, and a lot more at weekends now it is thought to be that the uh, Burroughs Worcester Journal was first published in 1690 thought to be the world's oldest newspaper although having said that um, there may be some other that weren't published in English abroad certainly one in Italy I think from the early 1600s perhaps one in Germany but um, having said that uh, the Oxford Gazette is 1665 so and that's now the London Gazette so uh, continuously uh, printed it does vary there but the English newspaper we've got tabloid film uh, form as I said a few weeks ago tabloid form and a broadsheet form well the tabloid form is more like this this is the Metro of a couple of days ago we've got our dear Queen here on the film for 70 years a record there there we are we do get the good stories as well and the, the broadsheet form is more like this here. This happens to be from a tribute to Prince Philip, the massive, uh, sort of, well, double the size of the tabloid. Now, looking at newspapers over the years, they've changed from being, mainly over the years, they've changed from being broadsheets to tabloid form to make it easy to read. There's also local newspapers. Local newspapers tend to have far more local news. The main daily newspapers tend to have crosswords uh, and various other information, sometimes sports as well in the back, and various news items, and certainly uh, the weekend newspapers will have all sorts of other uh, sections and supplements, such as uh, property, jobs, at times, a bigger sports section, uh, and magazines and things like that, uh, and topics of the day. But you will get more than just the one crossword. You probably get the Sudoku these days, and perhaps other, uh, well, crosswords and um, other challenges and puzzles there. So, if you want to buy a newspaper, you should see that, and you should even see a few crosswords in the the Metro, which is a free newspaper available at uh, most big cities, certainly the uh, railway stations and on the buses in this country. And if you do want to read newspapers, do expect to pay a little bit out for them normally. There's a couple of free ones in London, the Evening Standard and the Metro. The Metro um, operates all around the country, so you'd be very welcome to read that. And I will say, a um, special tribute here. Sometimes when there's been a very serious event or tra challenging, tragic event, whatever you want to call it, a serious news story like this, when Prince Philip died last April, there's a big tribute section. Where we are, where we've got a big. This is for Prince Philip. And uh, I will show you some photographs of this uh, towards the end. And um, a great man, 1921 to 2021. Incidentally, if you want to see the. Um, the tribute I did, tribute I did. Uh, please look back through some of the old videos. There's one there which especially was made in tribute to Prince Philip. Now, newspapers tend to be uh, 
quite expensive, so like I say, so do look at them online if you don't want to pay the full price. Like I said, this one is free, and um, certainly uh, they are still going at the moment. We've had a few changes over the years, like there was a paper called Today that's gone. Some have gone online, some have gone uh, tabloid form, like I say, and uh, some have merged with the companies. Um, but we've still got the Financial Times for all the financial figures and uh, economics, uh, and uh, the Telegraph and the Times. The Times has been going since 1785. So, uh, not as old as the Borough Worcester Journal, but um, I think that's the oldest, uh, one of the oldest uh, continually published newspapers. Uh, and then you've got Telegraph and um, Express, Daily Express, Daily Mail, and then they're down to the cheaper red top tabloids, which are uh, quite popular in the mass market newspapers. Quite controversial, shall we say, but the Mirror and the Sun and the Star. Well, thanks for joining me today. I've made it quite a quick session, but I will send you some uh, material at the end of this, so you have a quick look at some of the sort of articles uh, in the last couple of years. I deliberately haven't gone through all the articles in the last, say, few years. We've had an awful lot about um, Brexit from 2016. Then that all ended in 2019 with, uh, or just, I think it was just into 2020 when uh, we signed the agreement and it was all more or less resolved, hopefully. Well, we're still trying to sort that now, but, but then there was a the coronavirus and that, is another massive major story in the newspapers. We've got other things to do with royalty, we've got, sadly, stories about terrorism and all that sort of thing, uh, and other political issues, but um, now we're just trying to get around out of this mess uh, and move on. Um, some of you might like to know that the House of Parliament in London has got a massive renovation project to do, and it's cost billions, it's going to take about 30 years. And I'm not joking. So that's another thing that's been in the newspapers at times, but not so much. And of course, some of the other stories have been uh, ignored because of the, uh, all the pending issues with corona and the coronavirus and the pandemic and all the ramifications. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you now. Bye-bye.